Alina Rabakina versus Victoria Azarenka is the first semi-final for the Ladies Miami Open for 2024. And both players have had to fight to get to this stage. Azarenka into the tournament as the 27th seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she played Stern, who had been very aggressive the last couple of weeks and very fun to watch. And after dropping the second set, Azarenka would fight to win 7-5, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, she'd take on Zhang, the number 7 seed and Australian Open finalist. This was no problem getting through in straights, 6-4, 7-5. In the fourth round, she'd take on Bolter, the 24th seed, who just taken out Hadaj Meyer in the previous round. And again, no problem for Azarenka getting through in straights. 7-5-6-1 to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Azarenka would take on Putin Seva, who'd been one of the surprise packages of the tournament. And after dropping the second set, Azarenka would have to fight to win 7-6-1-6-6-3 to advance to the semi-final. Rabakina entered the tournament as the number four seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Towson. And after dropping the first set, would have to fight back to win 3-6-7-5-6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier Townsend, who just beaten Mertens in the previous round. And after dropping the second set, we'd have to fight to win again in three, six, three, six, seven, six, four. Fourth round, she'd take on the 17th seed, Keys, who was coming back from injury. And after a close second set, Rabakina would get through in straights, 6-3-7-5, to advance to the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on Zachary, the number eight seed, who she had a real battle with at the WTA finals last year. And this is no different, with both players splitting the first two sets, and Rabakina eventually winning in three, 7-5-6-7-6-4, to advance to the semifinal. This will play three times before, with Rabakina actually winning all three matches, including a retirement victory in Dubai a couple of weeks ago, but... They did play the Australian Open last year in the semi-finals, with the first set being closed, but Azarenka eventually going down in a straight sets win to Rabakina. So if anything to go by, that's the match that you should probably look at. If Azarenka's going to win this one, she needs to forget about the head-to-head -head and just go after it. Move Rabakina around. We know that Rabakina has got some issues, it seems like, with the ankle problem that she seems to have gotten over the last couple of days. So... Definitely move her around and test that ankle out. And just move her around in general because we know that that is her weakness. Rebecca is going to win this one. She needs to serve well and be aggressive. Of course, standing on the baseline and dominating the points, that's where she's going to win this one. It will be a battle of the baseline between these two ladies. So Rebecca is going to take over the baseline. Start with that serve. Very fun matchup. Of course, it was great to see these two playing a close match for once in Dubai. But I've got to go with Rebecca in this one in three sets. I think Agasaranka has been really good. Maybe gets a set, but I think that head-to-head, -head, especially if Rabakin is playing well, which I expect she will be, I think she's going to win this one in three. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.